this is the things that happen when you stay up way past your bedtime. So, like I said, you guys know me. Like, I'm so serious about going to sleep at 9.30 these days. Like, staying up till 10.30, 11 o'clock, it's such a stretch for me. And it's so crazy because I'm so young and I should be, like, really used to this fly by night, you know, like, be awake until midnight type of situation. I'm not anymore and I don't understand why it happened or how it happened, but like I just need sleep in my life. But these last couple of days, like given like the housewarming coming up and then like stress from work, I haven't really been sleeping. So let me tell you about last night. Like in a previous video, I said that I didn't go to sleep until like 3.30, 3.45 this morning and I, I got up at 7, right? Luckily, I was able to convince Cody to go to sleep for another two hours because she wanted rubs, but I'm really, really tired, right? So, the things that go on in my head or in my place when I'm by myself, even if I wasn't by myself, but let me, let me tell you what happened last night. So, I think my sister and my niece left, they left around 1-ish. Just before one, right? We were getting things together, whatever. So I was like, all right, you guys are going to go. But I still have some cleaning to do. I'm still going to do some things. The cleaning ended at around 2 a.m. in the morning. Lord. So I got in the shower. And, like, now I'm in the shower. And I'm just, like, rocking out to the music that's playing. I mean, I had music playing. But then, like, my songs came on in my head. Like, I have this internal radio, this internal playlist. And it's just everywhere and it's everything and I totally love it so like the first thing that came on was Before I Let Go by Maze and Frankie Beverly I don't know if you guys know but that is my favorite song of all time like it is my favorite song it just puts me in a mood it just makes me feel like life is happy everything is happy everything is just gonna be fine and jolly you know what I'm saying so like it was on in my head and like we had to rock out like I was just definitely in the in the shower singing you know like I don't want to sing now. Don't judge me because it probably won't sound good. <laughs> it's like, um, you made me happy. I don't know this part. This you can bear. And I really love you. You should know. Anyway, so right, that was that. And then, like, my favorite song to sing in the world is Tell Me by Groove Theory, you know. I've been doing my own thing. Love has always had a way of having timing. And to my great surprise, ever since I looked in your eyes. Anyway, so like, I'm singing these songs at like 2, 2.30 in the morning. I'm just like, yo, like, I'm having a full-blown concert by myself. And this is not even the music that's playing on the actual phone. So it was like really, really fun and interesting. So I get out the shower and like I'm just playing on Snapchat and like looking at Instagram and Facebook and such. And I'm just like... It dawns on me, I haven't stayed up past 2.30 in the morning in a very long time, and it's extremely overrated. Like, why am I doing this to my life? But I couldn't bring myself to go to sleep, right? So now I'm, like, just looking at Facebook videos or whatever, and this advertisement for a dating website app. It's a dating app. It's a black, it's called Meet Black. Meet BLK. Whatever, this advertisement comes up, and I'm like... Well, I really want to start dating again. <laughs> so let me download this app and upload my profile and all of this other stuff. So now I'm on a dating app. And after I joined or whatever, added my pictures, I just went to sleep. Then I, like, you know, woke up super early and I'm just going out through the day. And I'm just like, damn, dude, you definitely joined a dating app at 3.45 this morning. Like, what is your life about? So, like, I'm looking at the app and I'm just like, well, I'm on a dating app. It's just like, it's so... It's all right. I've had experiences with dating apps, and they weren't the best experiences. Yep. <laughs> but um, I, I guess I'll try this one out. Like, who can put their like? I'm not one of those people who puts myself out there, especially when it's cold. Like, where are we going? I could see like if it's in the spring or the summer, and like I'm walking around, I'm meeting people, or whatever. You know, I do these extravagant walks and whatever. It's the one time I'm trying to get to the bus. Are we, we going to be on the bus? Anyway, so yeah, I'm on this dating website. That's basically, like, I'm on the dating website again. See how far that goes. It's not even like, I don't, I don't know. No, I'm not going to say that I, I don't know what I want 
I know exactly what I want. At this point, like, if we're not building towards something great, then I don't want to even entertain you. But, like, some days I just want to wake up to somebody. Like, is there... There's nothing wrong with that, you know? Me too. Sorry. Me too, honestly. So, yeah, like, I'm, I'm just, like, I want to wake up to someone and I want to go to sleep in someone's arms and I want to go out and they're going to cook for me and I'll cook for them. So awesome. <sighs> yeah, I want, like, I want that type of relationship. And when I say that type of relationship, God knows exactly the type of relationship that I want because that's the relationship that we've been talking about for years and just haven't obtained it. And it's cool beans. It's a lesson learned. Like, maybe it'll happen through the app. Hopefully it happens organically. I totally prefer organic. But, hey, you never know. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. Good night, guys.